Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Hello and welcome back to Chronically Musical. My name is Alice and this channel is a place where I share videos about my life as a professional classical musician, as well as a person living with two chronic illnesses. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out every time I upload something new. So I'm not gonna lie, I am very excited about today's video. I know I say that every week, but this week I am, I'm giddy, professionally giddy is is where I'm at right now. <laughs> now the reason I am especially excited and professionally giddy is because I am going to be testing out some instruments today. I've never played a mezzo forte instrument before. Um, I've seen them online. They are very Instagram worthy, if you know what I mean. Um, they are just, they look beautiful uh, in pictures, so I'm very excited to get to try them out and, um, and see how they sound. Let's start with the viola, because I know for sure that there's a viola in this case. I'm not necessarily sure what's in the other two, but for sure there's a viola in this one. I'm pretty sure that all three of these instruments are um, part of their hybrid acoustic electric line. I'm not 100% sure. I know that the viola is. Um, so, oh, she's pretty. Okay, let me finish my train of thought. Um, they are all acoustic electric hybrids complete with a passive pickup system, which my very basic understanding of passive and active pickups are that a passive does not require any sort of um, battery source. <sighs> all right, here she is. Look. Excuse the ring light reflection. We're gonna have a lot of that today, but oh my goodness. Well, I'm just, I'm speechless. <laughs> it's very pretty. It's very pretty. Okay, so initial initial thoughts, gorgeous. Um, as you can see, it's got the really kind of tight weave carbon fiber um, pattern, super duper shiny, which I really like, it's just really pretty to look at. Also, how cool, this Mezzo Forte logo right here, how neat is that? Aesthetic, that's all I have to say. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so on the side here, if you can see, there's actually an indentation where you can put your shoulder rest. Putting uh, your own shoulder rest on here would actually be pretty challenging because there's nothing for it to grip onto, but they've thought of this really clever sort of system that allows the feet of a shoulder rest, oh my goodness, to actually grip onto these little indents. I haven't played this yet and I already think it's awesome. <laughs> these also are equipped with Whitner geared tuning pegs, which I have on my viola as well. Also, I didn't mention this already, but as you can see, our pickup is a standard um, quarter inch uh, adapter entrance, quarter inch entrance. I don't really know. I mean, I, I, I'm acting like I know what I'm talking about, but I really, I really don't. So anyway. Without further ado, um, I'm gonna play this with this um, this Glasser carbon fiber viola bow, and uh, we're gonna see how this sounds. Again, my first time uh, seeing this instrument in person, playing it before, and um, I, I really have no idea what to expect. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm just tuning. Okay, first impressions. Cool. I mean, look, very cool. Honestly, this is like, it's way more resonant than I was expecting. <laughs> All right, let's play some rep. Oh, that C really rings. I mean, that's a nice C string. Honestly, my ear is not used to the 
um, the frequencies that I'm getting, like the overtones, but I don't know. That sounds, ooh, pizzicato is nice. Overall, first impressions, very impressed with this one. Okay, let's try out some violins. Now, again, I don't actually know which violin is in which case. Um, so we're gonna find out together. This video is not at all sponsored, but the instrument place uh, was kind enough to send me these three instruments to try out. And if you're not familiar with the instrument place, it is an online instrument retail company that has a huge selection of not only string, woodwind, and brass instruments, but also accessories, and they even offer rentals. Even though they serve coast to coast, the entire US, they are family owned and operated. I know the guys over at the Instrument Place and I can assure you, you are in the best hands. They will do everything they can to help you and answer any questions you may have throughout the instrument buying or renting process. Um, they just, they're a really great company. So thank you to the Instrument Place for lending me these instruments and let's get back to it. Oh, I should also mention they are um, the leading supplier of mezzo forte instruments in Southern California. So if you're interested in purchasing any of these instruments um, that I'm trying out, or they also have cello and basses, um, definitely check out the instrument place. You might even be able to go try one of them in their showroom if you are based in the Southern California area. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this finish. Wow. Okay, so personally, if I'm buying like an acoustic electric or an electric carbon fiber instrument, I don't mind the look of the carbon fiber. I think that that's actually really cool. But if you needed to blend in a little bit, this is rather convincing. From what I've read, these are all entirely hand painted. So every single one of these uh, instruments in particular that are painted like this are going to be completely unique, just like an acoustic instrument that you would buy. So just like on the viola, um, we have these notches on the side for our shoulder rests, which is really, really great. And then we've got the quarter inch right there. Um, all right, let's play this one. Okay, I wanna preface this by saying, I played violin at one point in my life when I first started. I started on violin. I'm not a violinist. I'm very much a violist. So, yeah. So for these violins, I'm gonna be playing with um, my Coda bow. It's a Diamond NX model of the Coda carbon fiber bows. I use this for my electric five string. It's not their top tier of professional bows. It's kind of more in the like middle to low end, but it's serving me just fine, so. Okay, so acoustically, I think I like this violin better than the viola. And the reason I am saying that is because the trebleness of it, um, kind of the high pitched overtones are not as alarming to me because this is a violin. All right, let's look up some violin repertoire. Let's try some uh, Ravel. <laughs> that was wrong, I hit that octave. This is the perfect time for me to be sight reading violin repertoire I never had the opportunity to play. <laughs> um, spring? Let's try spring. Do we know how spring sounds? Kind of. Do we know how to play it on uh, the solo violin part? Not at all. Not at all. Bowing. Yeah, oh, I like this one. This is 
This is my fave so far. Last but not least, we tried out our viola, we tried out our violin. So we have the five string. Again, all of the same sort of features that our other two had. Um, it has the tight weave, carbon fiber look. It's just got five strings, it's got a low C. Well, it would have a low C if it was in tune. <laughs> so whatever note that is, if you have perfect pitch, leave a comment below and tell me what note that is. Oh, I didn't notice this before. Do they all have this? In addition to the, the, the Mezzo Forte logo right here near the bridge, they also have one on the back, um, kind of at the base of the neck, which is pretty cool. One thing that I haven't yet mentioned about the mezzo forte instruments is that um, the fingerboard is made from a composite material that can actually be shaved down. So if the player um, or the owner of the instrument decides they want to make any adjustments to the fingerboard, that's something that actually could be adjusted. <laughs> Overall, acoustically, these instruments are by far exceeding my expectations. There's quite a lot of resonance to them. Now the only thing left to do is plug them into an amp and see how they sound. Any Anybody who knows what they're doing would just be appalled, I think. Do some effects. Oh wait! So my dad is uh, an incredible guitar player, and he was moving, and he found this Boss chorus pedal. What better time to try out a brand new pedal with an instrument you've never played before than in a YouTube video? Where are my patch cables? Um, I am going to plug in to um, my reverb pedal, which I am using a Hall of Fame uh, 2 pedal from TC Electronic that has a lot of really great settings. Ah, okay. All right. <laughs> I think it works. I don't know. Oh, good lord. This was not supposed to be part of the video. All right, let's hear this chorus pedal. Je again, have never used this before. Okay, I don't, I don't know if that did anything. You know, I really like, I like the viola better when it's plugged in. Having like all the, the reverb and this chorus pedal on it. That C string, when you when you go down from the, the G, that C string really has a nice sound. I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but it sounds like I have a choir of baritone men behind me singing as I play Walton. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I love how that C sounds, but there is quite a substantial tonal difference when we go from our to our G to our C. It does shift rather dramatically. Yeah, but I like I overall viola plugged in. That is a nice sound. That is a really nice sound. Um, you don't even, honestly, almost don't even need a reverb pedal with these um, because there's so much natural reverberation to them. I'm gonna take off the chord. Well, all right, let's give it a try with with the violin. <laughs> Can you 
imagine if a whole orchestra had these uh, like painted acoustic electric instruments? That would be so cool. <laughs> ah, sorry. <laughs> We're turning our decay all the way up and our level all the way up. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm sorry, nothing beats that. Except maybe playing in a real cathedral. much fun. It's so easy to play. It's really nice. Yeah. Woo! Okay, let's try the five string. Let's try some looping, shall we? I use a, uh, also a TC Electronic. I have the Ditto X2 looper. All right. <laughs> Oh, maybe, I mean, I am a violist, so maybe that's why I'm just really liking all of the, uh, all of the low end of these instruments. Let's just improvise some loops. This is like the theme for today's video is Alice does not have a plan. That's fun. The only sort of negative with this electrically speaking, I would say, is that there are no adjustments on the instrument itself. So I can't adjust gain, I can't adjust volume, I can't adjust anything like that on the instrument. You know, overall, I'm like, color me impressed. I feel like I didn't give the viola a fair chance. I feel like I need to try it again. <laughs> Let's try looping our viola and see how it sounds. <laughs> I don't, I don't love the sound once it's looped. I don't know if that's a setting on my amp or something. Um, definitely something I'd want to experiment with though because I, I do really like playing these instruments. They're really, really fun. I could spend hours uh, just doing what I just did, which is just like looping random stuff and making up melodies. Um, if you like it, let me know, leave a comment and I'll make more videos like this, but I suspect that it's going to be a little less fun for the viewer, um, than it is for me. Alright, let's try one more thing on our viola, since we are a violist. Um, let's, uh, we're gonna change our reverb to shim. Actually, no, we're gonna go to mod, we're gonna turn it way up, and we're gonna play, um, Bartok. <laughs> I want this to sound insane.
wouldn't want to play it any other way, honestly. That is just too cool. All right, I'm done. <laughs> All right, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed hearing these instruments as much as I enjoyed playing them. It was so much fun. Overall, I think, uh, I think the Mezzo Forte Acoustic Electric Hybrid is a really great option if you're in the market for an electric instrument but still wanna have that resonance that comes with an acoustic instrument. They're a good price point for an instrument of this quality um, and I think, uh, I think they'd be great for beginners, people who are just sort of entering the electric world like I am, and maybe people who have been in it a little bit longer. Thank you again to the Instrument Place for letting me borrow all of these instruments. You may not ever see them again, but that's your mistake, not mine. If you're in the market for a new instrument or maybe you need some new gear and supplies for what you have already, definitely check out theinstrumentplace.com. They are a great company and they have a huge selection. If you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to like and comment below, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.